My reptile brain is telling me that this thing is alive. And then my intellect tells me, no, I know, it's just a piece of plastic and, and some software. We've stumbled upon something really super interesting, I think. This is Fur Hat, a promising stab at trying to make mechanical creatures and computer interfaces appear and act more like humans. Hi, my name's Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Nice to meet you. I am a socially intelligent robot. It's nice to meet you as well. Nice shirt. <laughs> Thank you. We want to build a, a system that can interact very fluently with humans, understand their social signals, their emotions, their atten attention states. There's a phenomenon known as the uncanny valley. It's that queasy feeling you get when a robot or computer interface looks real, but not real enough. The brains behind Furhat, these two hardcore academics, think they're on their way to solving that problem and making robots less nauseating. We come from a background of human-human communication, understand how humans interact with each other. There's this social layer that is on top of the typical AI. If they can push the technology forward, Furhat could end up as the face of Siri or Amazon's Alexa. It might keep lonely people company. Do you think I look good? Or be the thing you yell at when checking in for a flight at the airport. Can you walk us through like each little piece? Of course, Farad is a main piece here. He's got a hat and a wig. And a skull and a mask. As far as robots go, Farhat's design is really simple. It's as easy as taking a mask on and off. And then the mask is magnetically attached, so you can unplug the mask. And then you can attach a different mask, a different personality to it. <laughs> and then it needs to be calibrated yeah, yeah. so that you can get the right. Yeah. Uh, I do want to see the alien baby. What did you say? There is a facial animation system, you know, like the ones you do, you have in games and animated movies. Yeah. Uh, so it's all software based. And then we use a, a micro projector to project that animation onto a mask. So you get very accurate eye movement, gestures, facial expressions, lip animation. I can look like a woman and sound like a woman. Like an avatar. <laughs> That's, that was freaky. <laughs> but I think the world has been really waiting for robots at home to interact with, to, yeah. you know, to see them in a human natural habitat where we don't see any robots at the moment. One day, Furhat might read bedtime stories to your kid. I'd say it's at the nightmare stage of that journey but the product has gone on sale for use by universities, which are busy tweaking it to ensure sweet dreams in the years to come. You are boring. Why would you say that to me? You look strange. Or to sling insults at handsome TV hosts. How about a beer?